All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we're looking at a Klee card. Yes, I told you on Monday that the card that we're going to be reviewing for Wednesday is yet another deck that I played. Yes, I did play Klee's. Uh, I played them before Tower Turbo. I played them after Tower Turbo. Wild Tower Turbo. Tower Turbo. I tried to play them after Tower Turbo. Uh, I never played them with Card of Demise. You know, I, I had the deck long gone. Like, the, after, that, before Card of Demise came out, I already was done with real life Yu-Gi-Oh. I sold all my cards. I got rid of my Klee's, you know. I mean, I didn't get them for, you know, I think I got them for like half the price out of Bomb Club, which wasn't bad, but, uh, you know, at least I got some of my money back. But, uh, and then that deck that was probably in the counter at that locals, I mean, I bet someone picked it up throwing some card demise. It's like, woo, you know, demise, please, I got it, you know? I mean, more power to you, but, um, you know, I think card demise should be banned. I think that card is fucking retarded. Like, I, I don't care. I don't, I don't care about people's arguments. Oh, it makes the lower tier deck strike the strongest. No, 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 no. I don't have no problem with lower tier decks fighting the entire deck. The problem is that it's a fucking racial charity on crack. Fuck that shit. That shit shouldn't be in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can draw three cards? Three cards? Three cards? No, no, ban that shit. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel, you know? I, I don't care about stipulations. I don't care about the restrictions. I don't care what decks can play it. What decks can't play it. It's a fucking draw three. Come on. No, fuck that shit. And even if you only save one card, that's still graceful charity. Anyway. Uh, so, I, I just, I really haven't been into these. They've been kind of just, kind of, uh, you know, Scout went, got hit to one, while, uh, I, I, I know half of me was like, you know what, it means that one card on the scale should probably be at one. The other half of me was like, wow, but one Scout, like, that, it hurts too much, you know? I mean, in that case, I guess, thank God for card demise, but it's just like, wow, one Scout, ouch. But, um, you know, then Towers got banned, you know? Uh, personally, I, I kind of feel like Towers could come back. I mean, it's it's not the best of cards, but it's not the worst of cards either. You know, I, I can see both ends of it, you know. Especially since now everyone has access to Diamond Crab King, and majority of us have access to Utopia Lightning. Well, I mean, really, who's going to summon Towers? Really? Really? It's not, it's not the whole, like, oh, Towers is, you know, 3,000 kind of pseudo-35 with that minus 500. That, that's not the part. Well, you can't touch with spells and trap. That's not the part where I'm thinking, like, Towers should be, like, shame on you. The part that I think Towers is shame on you is when they poop it out first turn before you even get to, you know, send any monsters. And they're like, all right, Towers effect. Oh, you know how many monsters on your on your side of the field? Well, go ahead and send a card from your hand. It's kind of like uh, Erebus. It's kind of like, get the fuck out of your opponent's hand. You're already picking something out of their hand and dropping them down to four going to five. Five instead of five going in six, so it kind of hurts, but you know, towers ain't shit, like it really isn't. You know, when you compare it to the likes of freaking, uh, you know, like Ultimate Falcon and the Megazord, and for goodness sakes, fucking uh, 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 Max, fucking that blue eyes Ultimate Max guy coming out, like, it's just like, okay, who the fuck cares, you know, especially with Utopia Lightning, but uh, you know. It's just that's just towers for you, you know? and I mean the consistency in my opinion is, is lower. Like I straight up, if they unban towers right now, there wouldn't be a tower turbos because you don't have the consistency to pull that off. Like it, the consistency has dropped in comparison so much that it's not even funny. You have to open up with all cleats, all cleats, and you have to open up with some way of getting the scout, some way, because you have to get that plus one off the scout. Including the tower search to pull off your play because you have to play scout for the other pendant scale That's already two cards out of your hand the three cards in your hand have to be the tributes and the scout has to either Search the towers or one of those three cards in your hand is the towers and you search for something else So you need to open up scout something to get scout plus all cleats that used to be fairly uh, easier to do you know you had chicken game. Oh wait, that's bad You had upstart. Oh wait, that's hit to one Oh, you had Wavering Eyes, that's banned. You had Scouts, oh, I only have one. I mean, you still, of course, have Summoner's Art, but, you know, look at, look at the consistency of this Tower Turbo. It, it's not much, you know? So uh, they probably won't be pooping it out on you first turn, even if it got unbanned. But this card right here, which I'm finally gonna get into talking about, uh, of course, would help, and it might give Klee some bite, an actual use out of this card. This is Klee Fort Down. It's a trap card. Okay, I mean, they got some handful of trap cards, so that's not bad. No trap cards are reads. Special Summon as an effect monster, machine type, earth, level 4, 1800 attack, 1000 defense, uh, monster. Alright, so, it's pretty much a trap card that becomes a monster. Yeah, that's cool. It's, it is not treated as a trap card. Uh, it has the stats of a, a normal summon Klee monster without its effects negated. That's that's fine. Okay, I mean, uh, 1800 attack is nothing to scoff at. Level 4 is fine. You know, maybe do some rank for shenanigans. I don't know. Uh, and if you do, Klee spells and trap cards you control cannot be destroyed by card effects this turn. That's pretty good. 
that right there is pretty good because you can go ahead and just chain this to someone being like, all right, twin twister your scout, chain Cleefort down, summon, block my scout from destruction. That's great, you know. Uh, now, are there better things to be doing right now? Yes, because with your card of demise, Cleese and stuff like that, sometimes it's not the scout you're gonna go after. You need to clear up the back row. I mean, there's so much back row in that deck. It's just like, god damn. So. Um, Maybe they'll go after your scout, maybe they won't, but I know this card definitely won't protect all your spells and traps, so, you know, maybe you just want to go ahead and throw in, like, you know, like a uh, Starlight Road or, you know, uh, I forgot the other card that banishes, because I forgot another top of my mind. Don't tell me. I don't remember it. Uh, I forget it. I don't care. You know what I'm talking about. The the, the counter trap card that banishes, kind of like Starlight Road, when two more cards are destroyed, you banish instead, the, monster, the card instead. So... It protects your clean spells and traps, so it protects your scouts, that's pretty good. So, uh, in that case, I'd probably play it over, um, um, what was it, Climate Change? Because Climate Change, getting it back when it's destroyed, I mean, how I, it just doesn't destroy it, how about that? How's that sound? So, yeah, I'd probably play it over Climate Change. Uh, I mean, I have the background to stop your monster, so, you know, if you think you're going to go and cast out and spin me, but, you know, with the quick play of a, you know, a Twin Twisters, I mean, you know. Unless I have uh, Starlight Road or, or, Huge Revolution is over. There we go. Bam. <laughs> See, I told you I, I remember, remember it. Huge Revolution is over. You know, there goes my, uh, there goes my scout. So I can go ahead and chain summon this monster and it'll protect it. So that's pretty good. But no, no. It, it's, it's the last effect that everybody is discussing when it comes to towers. Uh, if summoned this way, this card can be treated as three tributes for a tribute summon of an Apocryphort monster. So, of course... We have two. One is banned, one is legal. One is good and is banned, the other one's kind of shitty. You know, it really is. Um, the other one, uh, what's it called? It's not called Colonel, it's called Skybase, I think that's what it's called. I think that's what the TG name is called. Uh, it's okay, you know, I mean, it's similar to Towers, it's 100 attack less, it's one level less, so, you know. You can get fucked up by monsters that are equal to your level, so any level 9 is going to fuck up your day. I mean, they can. If your opponent trishes you, you're gone, you know? Well, towers, you can't trish towers. You know? uh, you're unaffected by spells and traps, too, but you don't have that minus 500, and I believe you take an opponent's monster to the end of the turn. It's a pretty powerful effect. Of course, you're not making your opponent neg on resources and being like, hey, send that monster, send that monster, send that monster. You know, making them lose monsters, but, you know, you just take it temporarily, and... Attack, give it back to them. I mean, that's not that's no effect to stuff at. Uh, the problem, of course, it's it's only twenty nine hundred, and that minus five hundred, that hurts. That really does, you know. Uh, unlike towers, where it's just like, hey, I'm three thousand, and I'm gonna minus you by five hundred. So pretty much, unless you're busting out a thirty five hundred to crash with me, uh, at the time when Tower Turbo was in its prime towers, it was pretty much just like, hey, do you have Diamond Crab King? No, because Diamond Crab King can of course switch to attack and defense. The minus has already happened, so it'd be three thousand crash. Uh, now we got Utopia Lightning. Well, some of us have Utopia Lightning. That can handle it fairly easily. Uh, we got Kaijus now. We didn't have Kaijus back then. And, of course, it's unaffected by spells, so you couldn't even Monarch Storm Fourth Um uh, Like I said, Sky Base is only 2,900. Uh, yay, I, and I don't give you that minus 500. Yay, I busted out a, a Sky Base. So powerful, so good. Oh, wait, you summon freaking Blue Eyes Alternate? I guess I'm dead then. <laughs> so... No, no, Skybase is kind of, sh is, no. Because if Skybase was good, then you, we might have seen, you know, Skybase Tower Tower. We've seen people attempt it, and when Wavering Guys was, you know, not banned, we kind of saw it, but, I mean, it's not shit, you know? Now everybody has access to Diamond Crab King, because I believe it got reprinted, so everybody has access to it. If it ever became a thing where it's like, oh shit, they have this Colonel Skybase, they have this Skybase, and it's so good, it's hard to kill. Literally just throw in a fucking Diamond Crab King into your extra deck, when pretty much everybody can poop out of rank 4, and I'm done. And you don't, and it's not even like a crash with like towers, like, you just run over my ass, and then turn yourself to defense, and then, yeah, I gotta deal with your Diamond Crab King too. So, no, no. So like I said, personally, especially with Utopia the Lightning and, and and Kaijus and shit, like, to argue that Tower should be banned over frickin' Ultimate Falcon and the Megazord and Chaos Max, I don't know, yeah. even the fucking, um, even the fucking uh, Lunar Light bitch, you know? 
Like there's there's plenty of those, these powerful boss monsters. So to go to the extreme, abandon it now. I mean, back then I can understand you. Kind of clearing up the Duelist Alliance era, but you know, as the year has progressed, it's 2016. We've all passed it. So I don't know. Maybe I'm being biased because I was a Klee player, but I ain't shit. Like that should be the least of your concerns. I'd much rather deal with a, a Klee player playing Tower Turbo and trying to poop out a first turn towers and deal with fucking that card of my bullshit that they're playing now where they draw fucking three cards because why the fuck not? Like, so, I don't know. This is my personal opinion. So, this card's good, and if towers get some ban, then it would be a little bit better. I mean, like I said, it wouldn't be first turn Tower Turbo, which is where I think it really shines because, you know, it's taking something out of your hand real early. But if it's later in the duel, where you possibly have monsters, you can just send a monster on your field. So, you're not it's taking as much as a hit as something from your hand. Then just go ahead and go on Utopia Lightning, increase your to 5,000, run it, then that bitch ass over, you know? And I think by the time that fucking towers gets unbanned, if it ever gets unbanned, everybody should have Utopia Lightning. You know, all Konami has to do is just be like, alright, Utopia Lightning, reprint confirmed, there you go, everybody has it, you know? I mean, it's just Europe. Europe, I don't know. I don't know, it seems like Konami hates Europe, they're always behind on getting things, so. <laughs> so once that, once it's official and everybody has access to Utopia Lightning, no one's gonna give two shits about fucking Tower Turbo or Tower. It won't even be Turbo, like I said, it, it's too inconsistent now. So no one get two shits about tower. So I don't know. So if you can go ahead and play this card, some block your your scout, and then tribute all three for your towers. More power to you. I'm just gonna run over the Toby Lightning anyway, or Diamond Crab King Crash. If I'm in Europe and I don't have access to Toby Lightning. <laughs> yeah. So all right, I'm done. I'm done talking about this card. Tell me what you guys think about Clay Ford down in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think about Clee. Tell me what you guys think about Card of Demise. Tell me what you guys think about Towers coming back. I kind of want to know your opinion of it. Like I said, I don't give a shit. But hey. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back next week with some more cards to look at. Probably some of that red eye shit. And you get to that. You know, I, I know. I know before you guys tell me, oh, that red eye's FTK. I will talk about that. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.